For the density experiment, we are collecting mass and volume data so that we can determine the density. Density is mass divided by volume. In the first part of the experiment, we are working with determining the density of a liquid. It's a liquid much like, like alcohol, like gasoline. So what we're doing is putting it into a, a flask called a pycnometer, and we are measuring the, first off, before we put it in the the flask, we will determine the mass of the flask, we will fill it with liquid and then determine the mass of the liquid and flask. The difference is the mass of just the liquid. Then to get the volume very accurately of the liquid, what we will do is get rid of the liquid, dry, clean and dry the flask, and then we will fill it with water whose density we can determine. So we will fill it with water, we will determine the mass of the flask in the water, the difference between the mass of the flask in water and the mass of the flask is the mass of the water, then we will look up the density of the water at that particular temperature, so we'll have to measure its temperature, we'll look up the density in the appendix, and we will determine, we will be able to go from mass of the water to volume of the water. Well, that's the volume of the flask, which is the volume of the liquid. And in that way, we will have the mass of the liquid, the volume of the liquid, and we can calculate the density. In part B, we will determine the density of a metal. Well, the metal, unlike the liquid, doesn't occupy the full volume. Here's how we'll do it. Anyway, so we, we have the, the dry flask. We put the metal in it. We determine the mass of the flask and metal. Um, we had the mass of the flask from earlier, so that will allow us to calculate the mass of just the metal. But then to get the volume of the metal, what we will do is fill the flask with water. We will measure the mass of the flask and the metal and the water. And <clears throat> when we subtract from that the mass of the flask and the metal alone, that gives us the mass of the water it takes to occupy that other volume of the flask. So we will have the volume of the of the. <clears throat> we will have the, the mass of the water in that flask and we will go from mass to volume using the density of the water. That gives us the volume of the water that's in the flask along with the metal. Well, we knew the volume of the flask from part A we have now the volume of the water in the flask from part B. The difference between those two is the volume of the metal. So we have the mass of the metal, the volume of the metal, that allows us to get the density of the metal, and very accurately. In part C of our experiment, we are not as accurately determining the density of the metal. So it's to show you why we went through those detailed procedures involved in part A and B. Um, part C is giving a rough estimate of the density of the metal. So what we will do is simply measure the mass of the metal on a balance that's a centigram balance, so doesn't give quite as many digits. We will then put water in a 100 ml grad cylinder, measure its volume, like is shown here in this example, maybe it's 49.9 mLs. Then we will put the metal in, the 
water volume rises, because of course metal occupies space, let's say it rises to 54.9 mLs, well then the difference in those two volumes would be the volume of the metal. So those are the, the parts A, B, and C, and in the, let's see, we have the pre-lab, which you're welcome to look through. Do, you don't need to do, don't submit it. And then we have the part that you will submit, the, the density report. So from the experiment run through the video, you should be able to get all that information needed for part A, density of unknown liquid. The density of the water you will have to look in the appendix two to find, which is the, there is a link to that. Um, for part B, that's the density information from the experiment video. You should be able to get all that information. Same with part C. Alrighty, so then the calculations for the liquid, the unknown liquid, put those in part A. For the unknown solid, the metal, put that in part B and then part C. And then there are some questions. So once you have run through all the report information, the questions, filled that all out, do your scan, make sure it's a PDF file, and then submit it.